What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back bringing you guys part 17 for my playthrough on Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shine and Pearl for the Nintendo Switch. So guys, in the last episode, we caught our legendary Pokemon, which was Dialga, and started making our way towards Sunny Shore City. And in today's video, we're going to be completing this route, making our way to Sunny Shore City, and defeating the 8th and final gym. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button. And clicking that big red subscribe button seriously you guys are absolutely amazing thank you guys for all the support that has been going out across the channel you guys really do blow me away so i thank everybody who supports me as a content creator but something else that also happened in that last episode was our riley evolved which means our team is fully complete and our team is looking real good our team is looking real spiffy but we gotta complete this round i'm gonna actually head down this way and defeat all these trainers right here i do have lucario hey no i do not want to surf i want to just talk to these guys right here there's a bunch of fishermen trainer lined up on the bay. We need the levels considering I think we're like even with the levels. And then when Elite Four comes, we might be under level. So I got to get my battles in. I got to be able to uh, level up and catch up to uh, everybody else. But this isn't going to help. This is not going to help right here. This defeating these magic carps are not going to help me. This magic carp is a higher level than my Lucario. That's why we do have Lucario out here because we got to level this boy up. He is so under level compared to everybody else. Our Togekiss is over level 50. We're thriving with every other Pokemon. Lucario needs levels, so we're going to be running him for like this route. And then obviously when the gym comes, we have our boy Torterra. Well, we could switch, but I kind of want to keep him in here. I kind of want to keep Lucario in here and see if he can get some work done. But when we do the gym, obviously we're going to be rocking out with Torterra. It's an electric gym, which means our ground type is just going to be able to shred through it. And I have to swap out here. I have to swap. I guess I'll go into Frost Slice. Frost Slice has T-Bolt. It'll be four times super effective. We can just go like, psh, psh, slap this thing up, tell it to get on out of our game. Tell it to get on out of my game. But hopefully you guys have been enjoying the BDSP playthrough. It's been tons of fun. And I've also been having a blast doing BDSP doubles content. It's been a lot of fun to do on the YouTube channel. And if you guys have, uh, if you guys have teams for me for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shine and Pearl, I know there's no rental codes, but you guys can send me the Pokey Paste. I would absolutely love to get you guys Poke Paste. Either DM me over on my Instagram page or just leave me in the comment section down below. I would love to get my hands on the Poke Paste and maybe recreate some teams that you guys have. I think that would be a good way to, to do like viewer teams because there's no rental codes. I just think that's just like a work around a work away around it. So if you guys do have Poke Paste of uh, cool teams that you guys like, definitely send them to me. Definitely get them over to me. But another thing is if you guys want to catch more extra content on for me, Head to my Twitch page, Gene25 on Twitch. Name is right on the layout. Link is down in the description below. Go check me out. We've been streaming every day this week or during the week. And been having a lot of fun doing a bunch of viewer stuff, trading with viewers, getting you guys some Pokemon, alongside with doing viewer battles. It's just been awesome. It's just been awesome. But Roar Spear is going to poke here. We're going to take out this poor little Magikarp. And I hate versus Magikarps, man. Like, they die easily, but they give you no XP. They give me no EXP, man. Like, I'm trying to level up out here, and it's just doing nothing. He's going to send out Gyarados, which we will switch into our lovely little Frostlass. Just to be able to drop a Thunderbolt. But yeah, I just need to get... I think my team's pretty much set up really well with all moves and everything. I just think we need to get a Shadow Ball for Frostlass. And I know exactly where to get it. It is back in the Fog area when you're heading towards Celestic Town. But I have to go get the Fog and all that. But I think we'll get that before we do the Elite Four. Or maybe before we do Victory Road. So I would love to have that move. We definitely need this, that move for... uh for the elite four we're definitely gonna need a good stab hitting ghost move for frost we definitely gotta have it we definitely gotta have it but there we go take out gary to gyarados right there and we're gonna get moving i do like the xp that we get from this if he sends back out magic carps i'm just gonna switch into my lucario it's gonna be ram raid and i am gonna switch into lucario for for poor little ram raid or ram raid it's totally fine i do love ram raid i love how ram raid actually evolves into octillery i think that's one of the coolest things ever I think it is one of the coolest things ever, but it's weird. You would think he would evolve into like Mantine or something, right? But nah, he evolves into Octopus, which is so funny. Like, I, I just don't get their concept with that, but you know, it works out. It works out. It's just weird. It's just weird, right? It's like, all right, let's have this little fish guy evolve into Octopus. Like, okay, you should have made it maybe like a squid or a baby octopus evolve into that. I think that could have been really cool. But I think they should have like a giant squid Pokemon. Giant squid Pokemon could be cool. You know, now now I'm thinking in my head, they already have a giant squid Pokemon. I mean, Tentacruel's kind of like that, but he's more of like, he's a jellyfish, right? He's definitely a jelly. He's definitely a jelly, but I'm thinking like giant, like squid, like giant king squid that lives deep down under the ocean. Could be a legendary. Could be a legendary, but like they have whale lord. It was like enormous. Why don't they make a squid? Why don't they make a squid like that? Giant squid. Put it on the list for Gen 9. Put it on the list for Gen 9. You guys should let me know in the comment section down below. What 
what Pokemon ideas do you guys have that you guys would love to see for Gen 9? I think that's a good question. I think that is a great question. For me, Giant Squid. We want Giant Squid. We're going to start a petition. Put Giant Squid into Gen 9. <laughs> Could you imagine Gen 9 comes Giant Squid? I think, I think it's cool. You can only catch up with like the Super Rod, make it super rare. That'd be dope. That'd be real dope. And you know what? I think they should add back into Pokemon. They should add back Dive. They should add back Dive as an HM. Because just imagine like Pokemon Sword and Shield with Dive. Like those graphics with Dive. Could be really cool. Could be really cool. I'm 100% on board for that. So that's what I want in the new games. Gen 9, I want Dive and Giant Squid. No ants, ifs, or buts. We're starting a petition. Don't worry. I'll, I'll make sure I send it to you guys. You guys should get the petition in your mail very, very soon. Very, very soon. He's going to send out Finian. We're going to keep our Lucario out here. And Lucario's just been ripped. I actually did not like Lucario as a special attacker, but I think he's better as a special attacker. I think his special attack is a tad bit higher than attack, which is really good. This thing's just a beast. He's just a beast all around. Yo, he's going to U-turn out. We're going to soak that up all day. Look at that. Four damage. Get out of my face. Finian is a cool Pokemon, though. I was uh, tempted to go uh, Laminian as my water Pokemon for the squad, but yeah, Floats is a lot cooler. Floatzel is a lot cooler, even though Laminian is a cool, is a cool cat. B Bass is like, oh yo, back to what episode was it? We were talking about Pokemon that evolve, that like stink in the beginning and then evolve into like a monster. B Bass is a perfect example. He looks exactly like Magikarp, but a little bit different, like a little bit stupider. <laughs> but then evolves into Milotic, like who was gorgeous and a lovely Pokemon. But we end up taking out Feebass. We get a crit. We say, get on out my game. Feebass, I'm sorry. I apologize. I apologize. Let's send out Finian again, who you turned out on me already. So we can just one tap this thing with a lovely little Aurora Spear. Or I could go Flash Cannon, even though it's not very effective. But we'll go Aurora Spear here. Yeah, I love this animation. I love that animation. Just a slow, spherical of Auroras of fighting. I don't even know what it is. And it just pop right onto the Pokemon. Just such cool animation. And that is something I've been liking a lot more and more as the new games released for the Pokemon, is the animations are getting better and better. Like just, I remember back in the day, it's just like every single move, it would just like, it would just like hit him. Like, how do I talk to Lucario? I'm legit talking to this guy. There we go. Awesome. But like the animations would just be like a little like hit marker on him for whatever move. It'd be like, he used, take your fire. It'd be like, <laughs> just hit him. Until like the newer games came out, but one old animation that I really like, I really like on the Game Boy SP or like for Fire Red. It was for any Game Boy game. It was for Fire Red, uh, Gen 3, which would be Emerald and all that. I think it was just those two. And it might have been Gen 4 on a DS, but Wing Attack always looks so sick. It would do like the, the little uh, twirls on the side, like, quitch, quitch, and then send it. <laughs> it's so sick. I absolutely love it. Let me know if you guys, if any of you guys remember the old Wing Attack animation. Just used to love it so much. I used to only always keep that move because it looks so sick. It used to look so sick. He's gonna end up dropping a nice lovely whirlpool. That's fine. We soaked that up. It just animation's gotten so much better. But the old wing attack one was a banger. Let me know if you guys uh know of any old animations that you guys absolutely love. Because there's definitely some that I'm forgetting about that I absolutely like really liked. I don't like the old sleep powder animations. Or like the sun sport. We would just like sprinkle on the top. Like this one's so much cooler because it shows the Pokemon like spitting out like a liquid or something like that. Or dust on the Pokemon. I really do like that. I really do like that. He's going to send out another Gyarados. So we're just we're just thriving on the XP board. We're just thriving on the XP board here. But this route really doesn't take that long if you're not doing all these fishermen. Compared to the other route, it's really short even if you do the fishermen. But the fishermen are really what take up a big chunk of this route. And then the gym leader, it's so simple to get through. You legit walk into the city, go talk to him, and then it's just like, okay, you can go to the gym. So that's our plan today. That is our plan to head over there. Lucario wants to learn what? What does he want to learn? Swords dance. Oh, no. We're special attacking. We keep Nasty Plot. We do not want swords dance. Swords dance would be good if we were physical attacking, but we have Nasty Plot. So we can potentially set up with Lucario and kind of roll from there. Ram Raid's going to come out here. I don't feel like switching out my Pokemon. Let's just pop this thing with another T-Bolt. T-Bolt's thriving, though. T-Bolt's thriving. And it's really, this Pokemon was perfect for the squad because it covers that flying type that none of our Pokemon could do. So it was a great call for me to go into uh, Frost Lance. I really like it. I really like it. Because originally, I kind of want the Luxray, and I was just like, nah, the Luxray's too mainstream. Let's go with something a little bit different. We end up going with Frost Lance, and I'm a huge fan of my pick. This is Trainer. It is a Trainer. Of course, it's a Trainer, G. 
Of course it's a trainer, Jeans. What you doing? What you doing? It's gonna be too poor Holly. Poor Holly, yo. Poor Holly's gonna send out Ram Rage. She probably worked her whole life catching Ram Rage. She's like, yo, I'm the best beast trainer ever. And I just sent out this thing. And I just sent out this thing that nobody has because you can only get it from an egg. She's like, yo, what is that? I'm just like, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Catch this. <laughs> and throw an Aurora Spear at her. <laughs> Bop. Get on out my face, Ram Rage. We don't need you here. Even though you're cool. You're, you're a little cool water type. You're a cool water type. Yeah, I remember when Diamond and Pearl first came out, how hype Lucario was. It was like Greninja. Like, Greninja is an absolute banger of Pokemon. Lucario is a money Pokemon. Phenomenal all around. We got this guy, and I don't know if he wants to battle. Yeah, I was going to say, one of them don't want to battle. So it's this guy. He just wants to fish. He just wants to do his thing. We got a bunch of trainers here. We did defeat that cop, and I kind of want to get a double battle rolling here. So we'll force these guys into a double battle, and then we'll finish up this route. I think we got him. Or these two, and then that guy right there. And then that's pretty much it. I think that's pretty much it. Yo, we, we rip it here. We rip it here. Then we can head to the gym. They only have two Pokemon. That's cool. Sailor Mark. It's a good Sailor name. I give it to him. Ramorade and Mantike. Hello, hello, hello. Alright, cool. Uh, I can just worst spirit of Mantike. Actually, we can take out him, and then I'll just, you know, drop a nice little T-Bolt over Mantike. I think that's four times super. See? Flying in water as well. He gone anyway. It don't even matter. He would have been dead either way. He would have been dead either way. But something I like in a Pokemon Snap. Pokemon Snap was a pretty solid game. It's a nice little pickup. But uh, something I liked in that game was the Mantikes and the uh, the Mantines when you were in like the beach areas, just floating around doing the little jumps. I thought that was really cool. I thought they did a good job. That's something that Pokemon Snap did phenomenally well at was the graphics. If you make a Pokemon game with those graphics. Come on, if Gen 9 has those graphics, it is going to be one of the best Pokemon games ever. Like, dude, those Pokemon Snap graphics were out of this world. They were phenomenal. Everything that we wanted. You make an open world game like that, where you can surf in like area in areas like that, like a beach area like that. Like, dude, you can legit break the gaming world. You can break the gaming world if you do that. The graphics were insanely good. Make a beach area in Gen 9. Make all those areas that you had. Jungle forest. All that good stuff. Like, now we know they have the potential to do a lot of stuff. They have the potential to do so much with Pokemon. It is nutty. It is nutty. Because, like, the beach areas were, like, astronomically good in Pokemon Snap. Same thing with the rainforest area. The jungle areas. Like, dude, they were so good. They were so good. And the ruin area. Like, dude, just imagine if they do that. Just imagine. If they do that, which they could, we know that they could now. We know what the potential for Gen 9 is. They have so much potential for Gen 9, even after Legends Arceus comes out. Because Legends Arceus is going to be a great solo player game, in my opinion. It's going to be a great solo player game. They're not going to have like PvP or anything, but in my opinion, it is still going to be really, really good of a solo player game. So the potential's there. The potential is there for graphics, for gameplay, for everything. I just hope they don't mess it up. I just hope they don't mess it up. Just hope they don't. Because Gen 9, I feel like Gen 9 is going to be like a big turning point in Pokemon. A big turning point. Kind of like how Diamond and Pearl, I feel like original Diamond and Pearl was a big turning point in Pokemon. I don't know why. It just feels like that pivotal game from when it went to the Game Boy to the DS and everybody absolutely loved it. I feel like Gen 9 is going to do that on a bigger level. Because obviously Sword and Shield was Sword and Shield was great because Sword and Shield was like the first kind of like 3D. We had a wild area Pokemon. It did that right. It did that right. But it was just the beginning. It was just like the trial game. We're just testing it out. Let's see how this goes. And then they did it only they, they sprinkled it on a little bit. It wasn't like fully wild area. It was just like you can go into the wild area and do this. This is where you catch your Pokemon. That, that, that. And then there was routes on the side. I feel like the next Pokemon game is just gonna be nuts. Gen 9 is just going to be nuts. And we, we all know it. We all know it. So I'm very excited for that. But we finish up our route, Route 222, and we're going to make our way towards Sunny Shore City. First off, I got to heal my Pokemon. Pokemon need to heal. And here's my boy Flint. And Flint is actually the Elite Four member of, uh, well, the Elite Four. But no, he's, uh, what I was meant to say was he's, uh, he's an Elite Four menu member, bleh. And I think he's number two. No, he might be three. I think he's three. Yeah, he's three. He's for sure three. Or it might be four. He's three or four. But I'm going to say three. I'm going to say three. He talks to us. He's just like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, all right, yo, I need the Pokemon Center. And then from here, we just have to go find the gym leader, which I know exactly where he's at. And then we're going to be able to go into the gym and get after it that way. So let's heal up the squad. Let's get ripping up. And then go towards that gym, which is the final gym for this playthrough. 
So I feel like we only have a few more episodes left. Unless you guys want me to do post-game content, you guys can definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But so far to beat the Elite Four, we're going to have this episode. I think next episode, we're going to make our way to Victory Road. Then we're going to have a Victory Road episode. And then we're going to have an Elite Four episode. I think that's it. But yo, I love how Lucario runs with me. Look at him. <laughs> Dude, zooming. Dude is zooming. He is zooming. But in order to find the gym leader, you just take this elevator to the top. And gym leader should just be chilling up here with the binoculars. Yep. Howdy. How you doing? How you doing, gym leader guy? So you're the latest challenger up against Sunny Shore Gym. That's me, dude. Get on in that gym so I can steal that badge, get the TMs, and get moving on. That's all I ask for you. There he goes. He's a cool little character. I do dig him. I forget his name, though. This is one of my this is one of my favorite gyms in the game. I do like this one and the ice gym. Just because the puzzles are pretty cool. No. I do like it. I do dig it. And I feel like all I feel like they have to bring back older gyms. Because I, I didn't really like the uh the sword and shield gyms. I didn't think they were all that cool. They, they had a few they, they were kinda like mini games based. I kinda always like the puzzles and all that. I think puzzles are really, really perfect for doing gyms and Pokemon. I didn't like the uh the trials in Sun and Moon. I just thought they were a waste of time. But where's this gym at again? Oh, this gym I know exactly where this gym at. It's up here. Move, Lucario. Move! <laughs> Jim should be up here, right? Right on this little island rock. Yeah, yo, that's sick. It's a perfect area they put it at. Howdy, Flint. Does this guy want to battle me? No, he doesn't battle me. He just, like, talks to me, and then he's like, all right, I'm out of here. I'm going to go with the Elite Four and battle some real trainers. I'm like, all right, I'll see you in a bit. I'll see you in a bit, but we can head inside this gym. I just got to swap Torterra to my front spot, and we can start it with this one. I think this gym has a few trainers. It's a, it's a, decent, it's a decent gym. It's one of the longer gyms, kind of like the Ice Gym, but it shouldn't take us too, too long. But Lucario, I'm sorry, you're gonna have to sit in the back end here. My boy Torterra, my starter, is taking the hot seat for this one. Hands down, taking the hot seat. So, mechanics for this gym is hit these buttons to create paths and constantly go back and forth. Oh, I messed up already. But, uh, yeah, that's the objective. Hit the buttons, create a path, and get rolling from there. Well, what we wanna do right here would be this path right here, and then make our way out of here, and then flip this one around like that, and then come up here and bang. Finish up the first room. I think there's three rooms? I think there's three rooms, and then, like, the last room, you have to, like, it's a little bit trickier because you have to, like, hit the button, backtrack, hit other buttons. And just, it, it, it's a little tricky. It's a little tricky. Patrice is going to get sent out here. Come on, Patrice. What you want? What you want? You're going up against Ground Turtle. Ground Turtle plays no games. Plays no games. You guys want to see more turtle action. Make sure you check out my, uh, my, oh, this thing used dig. But make sure you guys check out my competitive double battles on Tour Terror Team. It was funny. We, we, we had good moments. We disrespected an Infernape. Oh, and EQ still hits this thing, which is lovely. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. I totally forgot about that. But like I was saying, we disrespected an Infernape. We got the show off Tour Terra amazingly well. We got a bulky build on him. Used Leech Seed. All that good stuff. Played some stall games. Hits like a truck as well. Just definitely go check out the video and show some support. Definitely go show some support over on that video. Absolutely love recorded uh, BDSP videos or competitive BDSP videos for you guys. So hopefully you guys are just enjoying all the content on the channel. But um, here's the next room, and this is the only button we can hit. I mean, we could just go battle that trainer, but what's this button do? Button is that. Button is that. Button is that. Gotta go back. Okay, so the only thing we can do here is just go up here and battle this guy. How you doing? How you doing, Johnny? How you doing, Johnny? So let's just go over here, battle him, and I believe there's like two, three trainers in the room. Like I said, three rooms ain't too bad. And most of these guys have one Pokemon that we're just going to be able to EQ and just take out instantly. And just take out instantly. Like, look at that. Luxio. Get on out my face, Luxio. And the best part about this is we're super effective to them, but they can't even hit us with a stab move. Because it won't affect us. It will not affect us. This thing uses Intimidate. And I didn't even check the levels. 44. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. We are thriving on the levels board. We're going to drop a nice, lovely EQ. I'm going to say later, Skater. I always thought that the Pokemon were higher levels in the original Brilliant or in the original Diamond and Pearl games, but I don't think they were now. Think about it. I just think we didn't have XP share, so it was like our, our Pokemon were not as high. And that's that's one problem. I hope they don't bring back uh, XP share for Gen 9. XP share is cool, but again, you guys already know my point of view on that. It's definitely a post-game item. It's definitely a post-game item, but I'm going to hit this and... Where do I go from here? Do this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now we go here, and then we go up these stairs. Okay, got it, got it, got it. Cool little puzzle. And then we go battle little Timmy over here. I feel like his name's Timmy, right? 
It's gotta be Timmy. Like, just look at this kid. It's gotta be little Timmy, right? <laughs> Schoolboy Timmy. Forest. God dang it. Good old Forest over here. And he has a Mr. Mime. Yo, he's going up against. I mean, he's going against all the rules that this gym has to offer. There's one rule in each gym. We are this type. In this in this gym, it is we are electric type. You're going up against that rule. That rule ain't working. I do need to get wood hammer on this thing. Wood hammer will work so well. This thing has gleam. And I love how Mr. Mime uses his moves. He's like. <laughs> he's like, Mr. Mime use gleam. <laughs> Just throwing hands out there. Dude plays no games. Dude plays no games. He's gonna do it again. Energy ball. Look at that. Energy ball. <laughs> Let me just move my hands on you. But we'll take out mine with the Giga Drain. I can get with it all day. Get with it all day. And I like how he's dead, but he's still doing it before he faints. He's like, hey, there's a wall in front of me. <laughs> mine gets better and better each gen. Because at first, obviously, the sprites didn't move. So he was just sitting there like this. And then when the sprites, the sprites first started being able to move, slowly put his hands on the wall. And now he's just going to town on the wall. Going to town. I love his animation. And I love that they gave him a fairy typing. Really cool. Really cool. But we can go here, here, and that path will open up. And we can be on our way. On our way to versing this chicken. I think she just has a bunch of Pikachus, right? Or maybe just one Pikachu. I'm hoping it's just one Pikachu. Let's see. There were four. I think it's four Pikachus. I'm not even going to lie. She's going to send out Pikachu here. And I think... Do I use my EQs? I really don't want to waste all my EQs. That's my problem. I really don't want to waste all my EQs. Let's see what they do. Let's see what the plan is here. I think we can kill these things with Razor Leaf or Giga Drains. We do have Speedy's lovely little Pikachus. And yeah, Razor Leaf just dumps on them. Yeah. Do not really want to waste all my EQs. We know we're going to have a gym leader with some good Pokemon. So definitely need as many EQs as we can get. He's going to send out Pikachu. And I think I'm just going to Giga Drain on this. I do not think Giga Drain is going to be able to kill. I'm going to hope it's able to kill. But I want the HP. I want the HP. We do outspeed these little boogers. And cool, it does kill. Perfect. So we get the HP. I, that might not fill me up. Close, but another Pikachu. We'll give it the weapons with the Giga Drain. We'll take it out. Sorry, Pika. I love you, though. I love you, Peek. <laughs> Yo, could you imagine? Yo, I'm gonna build a team. Yeah? Who's gonna be on your team? S six Pikachus. <laughs> it's like, what? What kind of team is that? You're gonna get whooped on by any ground type. Yeah, I just like Pikachu, so... I'm gonna do that. I should've did a Bidoof playthrough. Six Bidoofs. Not even allowed to evolve them. Seeing how far we can get. I feel like we would get to a point where it's just like, dude, we have to be level like 70 to beat these guys. Like, no way we're getting through Elite Four without being level at least 80, you know? With the Bidoofs. We're gonna need something crazy to happen because their defense is gonna stink. We're gonna get outsped everywhere. It's just gonna be a tough show. It's gonna be a tough show. But that would be fun to do, Bidoof playthrough. Six Bidoofs. Oh, I'd probably lose my stuff. I would lose it. Because I know, like, there'll be a point where it's just like, all right, Bidoof, you have to do, like, this much damage. And things doing, like, an inch of damage at a time. I was like, oh, what you mean? <laughs> but I don't think they learned that many moves. So, like, Bidoof coverage moves would be awful. They would, we would have to, like, try to split it up. But there wouldn't be that many, many to play with. Like, this electric gym would run us with Bidoofs. Actually, they're not water type yet, so. They're just normal. They're just normal. But they can learn a lot of the HMs, which HM moves are good. HM moves are really good. So I can get with it. Raichu's going to be here, and I'm just going to EQ this Raichu. He's going to go for a quick attack. We soak that up all day. Look at that. We beefy. We beefy, baby. We beefy. EQ comes through later. Later, pup. We get this thing all out my face. Well, that's a good XP. 2060 for Torterra and about 1,000 for everybody else. They'll kiss all 55, you know. That thing is just... I don't know what what it is with that Pokemon. We haven't really been using it a lot, but that thing just flies up on the levels board. It honestly does. But we're in the last room here. We just have to defeat a few trainers and figure out this puzzle. I'm going to go this way. I'm going to go this way. And I'm going to open this up and go defeat this trainer. Howdy, Mr. Trainer. Howdy. The Pokemon jams are just where it's at. Can't go wrong with it. We were actually talking about that in my stream. Where uh because we were playing uh competitive BDSP double battles and we were just like, we need the Pokemon BDSP soundtrack. Because like obviously when you're doing ranked battles or casual battles in uh or not BDSP, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, that's what I want. 
But uh, in Pokemon Sword and Shield, you have that amazing soundtrack that you can pick through before you battle. Like, okay, do I want to go gym leader song? Do I want to go this? Do I want to go that? And there's some bangers on there. Just get you hyped for the battle. Just get you hyped for the battle. But I wish they would have added that. Oh, we landed a crit, which was awesome. They should get back all of our HP, right? Or pretty close to it. There we go. Pretty close to it. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Get the thing on out my face. Do I have a big root? I would love to give this thing a big root before I can get a dream. We're going to send out Raichu, and we definitely drop an EQ on this thing. I'm not dealing with these Raichus. He's going to quick attack me. I know that for a fact. I know that for a fact. See how this one plays. Yep, quick attack. See, we soak all day because we're defensive folk. And EQ's going to say, hey, yo, Raichu, get on out my gym. This is my gym now. I'm coming for that gym leader. I'm coming for the throne, baby. All day long. All day long. Raichu drops out. Get him gone. And we're going to grab our XP. Lucario to level 42, which is great. And Tortara to level 54. Tortara, learn Woodhammer. Learn Woodhammer, dude. Ah, man. I'm pretty sure this thing learns Woodhammer, right? Because we had Razor Leaf for our physical attack and grass that move for so long. And Woodhammer just rips. Just rips. I would like Seed Bomb. Seed Bomb's pretty good as well. But I think we have two more trainers. We have this trainer and the next one all the way over to the right. And then just solving the puzzle. And then we got the Gym Leader. Then we got Gym Leader. Solid video for today. Got done. Going to get done what I want to get done. And the next episode, we can head up that route towards the Victory Road. Which might take us a little bit. But I'm hoping we can get there, get to Victory Road, and then be able to go get Shadow Ball for our Frost Eyes. So you see, your boy's already planning out the whole video in his head. Already planning out the whole video in his head, in my head. He ends up using Intimidate. How many Pokemon does he have? Is it one? It's two. It is two. You know, I'm still just going to raise it. It's fine. Even though we're Intimidated, I could have just went for Giga Drain, but Razor Leaf's going to do a nice chunk of damage, and he's just going to send a bite off, which we soak. Give me that. Give me that all day. Razor Leaf's going to fly again, and we're going to say later, Luxio. Later. Like, I think it, at this point, these guys should have Luxuries and all that. And the gym leader should still have like a luxury, just be on a higher level, you know? I, I just think all, all the Pokemon at the 8th gym should be fully evolved. But he has a Beeral, which we can just race Leaf down with KO. I should have probably Giga Drained it, just to get my HP back, but we're thriving. We're thriving here. Later, Beeral, get on out my game. We don't need you here. We don't need you here. And that's why we don't do a Bidoof team. <laughs> that's, why, that's why we don't do a Bidoof team. Take all that XP, and we get moving on here. Then a Guitarist. Person. Pearson, however you pronounce that, I don't really know. Jeans don't really know. But click button, click, click button again, click, and now we get moving. Now we get moving here, and I gotta click this button, click, and then go up through this path and make my way all the way around here. Gotta make my way all the way around here. It's the last trainer, and then I think we have to go down to the bottom, if I remember this puzzle correctly, and then click a button there and loop back around, and it should unlock the path to that trainer. I think that should be how it goes. I think that's how it goes. The Oaks is gonna fly, and we might need a swap here. I mean, this thing's probably sturdy. I'm not even gonna lie. I think I'm just gonna drop an EQ on it. How many EQs? Do I? I have six left. That should be plenty. Five should be plenty for the gym leader. EQ's gonna poke. I think this thing is gonna be sturdy. No, it just soaks that. It just soaks that up all day. And this thing's gonna go for a screech. Oh, oh, thank God. Thank God, Torterra. Give me a little heart, baby. Give me a little heart. Uh. Giga Drain should be able to kill, but I'm just going to go for Rage Leaf because it is physical attacking. And Torterra is a lot better in the physical uh, suit here. Even though Steelix is a lot worse in the special suit. It could have went either way. It could have went either way. Frost is about to hit level 50. He's going to send Magicham, and this is where we get out our lovely little Togi. Our lovely little Togi here. Love his Pokemon. 55? Is this thing level 55? Did I read that right? 55! Dude, Togekiss is cooking on levels. And I already know why it's it's at high of levels. Because when we couldn't evolve it, we were using it for so long on its own. We're just like, yo, I'm trying to evolve this thing. We were trying for so long. That's when going to poke. Lay the Metacham. Can't handle the Togekiss, dude. Togekiss is a monster. It's a monster. Togekiss is definitely one of my favorite Pokemon. I think it would be up there a little bit more if it wasn't so overused. But it is what it is. It is what it is, because obviously a lot of people don't like... Well, obviously people do like the overused Pokemon, but like some people like me, like, oh, everybody uses it. I don't want to even use it. But uh, I'm going to be right here. I got to make it to that way. I think I got to keep hitting this button. I know, maybe we got to hit this button. And maybe I can make my way back here? 
Is that what I gotta do? Does the path open up here? It does. Yeah, this is the way we gotta do it. This is the way we gotta do it. At the gym leader, Volkner, that's his name. I totally forgot it. I knew we had like a cool name. Cool original name. And that's what it is. It's Volkner. We get the battle. Grabbing ourselves our eighth and final gym badge. <laughs> and I love every time I get a gym badge, it opens up my badge case. My badges are just filled with dust and dirt on them. I'm just like, oh, they're nasty. They're nasty. But that's something something I definitely want on my desk. I want like a replication of the first original eight gym badges. Like full metal. I think they could be so sick. Or put them in like a, a case and like display them on my wall. I think that's a cool little collectible. But he's going to have Raichu here. Probably go for a quick attack. No, just straight up surf. That's fine. He's ripping with surf. That's easy ease for my boy. Oh, wow. Oh, I forgot. You know, we're ground typing. That's the only thing that stinks about him, man. It's like, dude, you are ground typing and water or ground and grass, which means water hits you at a neutral level, which stinks, dude. It's like, come on, man. It's like, come on, man. Water Pokemon can do work up against you. It can do work up against you. It's the only problem with it. It's the only problem with Torterra. I absolutely love his typing. But at the same time, it's like, yeah. Octillery's gonna poke here, and of course, this thing has a water Pokemon. You know what we do with two water Pokemon? We bring out lovely little Frostlass. And Octillery's a really cool Pokemon. I think they should add a third evolution to Octillery and make it giant squid or giant octopus. The Kraken. Make it a Kraken. Like, dude, Octillery's sick. Look at him, yo. <laughs> they should totally add a third evolution to him. He's just so sick. He's just such a cool Pokemon. Octillery soaks this up. And what's he gonna go for? An Octoblast. Or what was that? Octabazooka? That yeah, was it. Or Octazooka? It was something cool. That's a cool move. That's a cool move. We do. We did get introduced to another octopus, which was Grapplock. Grapplock's cool in Gen 8. So in Shield, he was on my team. But he's not water type. Which I thought he was water type. He's only fighting type. He should totally be fighting and, uh... Oh, yeah. Let's get out. Let's get out my boy Lucario here. But he should totally be water and fighting type. He's just fighting type, but he's hilarious. He, he puts his little his little squid hands up, and it, it, he doesn't even have fingers. He's just like has like little nubs that he folds over like this, <laughs> ready to just piece up, ready to just piece up. But Ambipom's a cool Pokemon. Does that fake out? Ambipom is really good at competitive battles. It learns Technician and can hit like a truck. This thing is rocking with the berries, dude. These guys are always holding the right berries. These guys play no games. This gym leader plays no games. They're still, still able to do a huge chunk, and we should be able to take this thing out after its next move. Unless it hits me with a with a double hit. Oh, we dodged it. Yes, sir, Lucario. He plays no games. I was going to say, double hit might be able to take me out. Because I'm going to guess this thing is Technician, and Technician, Ambipom, 30. 30. Can do big damage with Fake Out, can do big damage with uh, double hit. It's just insane. And then you give it the Life Orb for competitive, and it's just phenomenal. But final Pokemon on the squad is going to be... This lovely little Luxray. And I'm sorry, Luxray. Unless you're holding the Shukaberry, you're dead in one hit. And I don't think he's holding the Shukaberry. I, I do not think he's holding the Shukaberry. Here it comes. Get ready for my trump card. Get on out my face, dude. Luxray pops out. And there it is. Your Luxray is so sick, yo. Such a cool Pokemon. Gen 4 did something right. And that was, uh, they actually did a lot of things right. But one main thing that they did right was their Pokemon designs. Phenomenal Pokemon designs. This thing's rocking Ice Fang. You son of a biscuit. You dirty dog, dude. This thing really just hit me with that. This thing really just hit me with that. I'm gonna go into... I think Houndoom's gonna clean this one up. Shiny Houndoom hasn't seen the light all video, so let's throw it out for the final thing. I think we use every Pokemon besides that. We haven't used Floatzel, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's get Shiny Houndoom out here. Shiny Houndoom wants to play. He wants to play. This thing's gonna rip with Thunder Fang. We should be able to eat that. Oh, it does more than half. A little rough. Flamethrower's gonna come through here and give us a burn. Give us a burn, man. Give me a burn. This thing's rocking citrus berry. You buttery biscuit. Okay, Houndoom, I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go down here. Unless you can soak this up somehow. Maybe he'll get a low roll, but if he Thunder Fangs, we're dead. Thunder Fang pokes, low roll. We dead. Luxray is doing work. It's doing work. Okay, uh, next Pokemon. Frostlass? I mean, Tokus should be able to soak up shot. Tokus should be able to soak up shot here. Let's go, Toki. Let's get a Togi. You should be able to soak up a Thunderfang and then Air Slash. Should be able to get some work done. Oh, were we just outspeed? Lovely Togi. Lovely Togi. And we probably should have went for the. Uh, okay, he flinched anyway. Cool. I was going to say, we probably should have went for the Gleam, but it is what it is. We got the flinch. It's all good. It's all good. He might actually pop a potion. Yeah. Full Restore comes out here. He's giving us a tough time, but yo. 
Dazzling Gleam's gonna poke here. Dazzling Gleam's gonna do a nice chunk of damage here. Nice big old chunk of damage. Considering we're six levels ahead. And Togi just rocks. Like, oh, Togi! Togi with the crit! With the crit! Gotta love it. Gotta love the crit there. Gotta love the crit there to just dump on Luxray, but it was pretty much over after or anyway, even if we didn't get a crit, because I would have at least did half health to it. He would have either had to full restore or we would have outsped and just kept going there with our Dazzling Beam to win that battle. But there we go. Take out him. He gives me $6,000, dude. I wish life was that easy, man. Just, just battle somebody in Pokemon for like 15 minutes, and then they're like, here's $6,000. I'm like, okay, but... There it is, eighth and final gym badge, and it showed off my dirty badges again. <laughs> it showed off my dirty badges again. If there is a way to actually clean your badges without pulling out your Nintendo Switch, let me know, because I would clean them uh, in the next video, but I do not want to pull out my Nintendo Switch because then it will take off my screen for recording. So I'd rather have dirty badges than to miss out on recording. TM57 comes through, and what is that? It is Charge Beam. Okay, I really don't need Charge Beam. I really do not need charge beam, but awesome, awesome, awesome. Eighth gym done. We start making our way towards victory road in the next one. But I can go here. I want to go heal up my Pokemon before we do finish off the video. Just so they're ready to go. Just so they're ready to rock out. All that good stuff. Do, 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 bum, ba, da, man. And that's something I also like. I also like the old, the old gym music. Like the, the exact one they're playing right now. Da, na, na. <laughs> like it's in all the older games. Loving it, loving it. Sunny Shore City. Cool thing, too. I really do. Yo, what's going on? You see him glitching there? You see my boy glitching? <laughs> but it's really cool that about uh, Sunny Shore City is I really like these walkways above us with the glass flooring. I think they look really tough. I think they look really tough. But let's see up the Pokemon. We'll probably use Lucario a bit more in the next episode to try to get his levels up. Try to get him to match the rest of the team. But let's heal up these guys. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. As in the next episode, we're going to be making our way up the next route, heading to Victory Road, probably grabbing Shadow Ball for Frost Last, and making our way towards the Elite Four as a whole. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.